My name is Bill Johnson. I am a, a urologist. I was trained in the Northwest at Seattle uh, University of Washington. Uh, I've been here in Exeter for uh, just over two years. So I came in the fall of 2009 and joined Atlantic Urology uh, and Core Physicians. I'm very happy to be here and I feel like Core Physicians and the hospital uh, at Exeter match my philosophy of care. I went into urology because I felt like when I speak to the majority of urology patients, I'm speaking to a family member. When I was growing up, I spent a lot of time with my grandfather, and uh, most, of, most summers I would spend with him, and he taught me a lot about using tools and fixing things, and uh, we enjoyed a very close relationship. Although urology is both men and women, uh, uh, it's traditionally known to service a, a, a lot of men. I feel like taking care of men's health and men that have issues that relate to urology, oftentimes I spend my day talking to folks like my granddad, and uh, that's very satisfying. I know that at Exeter Hospital, the multidisciplinary breast cancer clinic has been present for quite a while and established and has had rave reviews from women with breast cancer. Um, I was approached uh, early last year as to whether or not I would be interested in participating in and helping to lead the development of a similar multidisciplinary cancer clinic, but directed at prostate cancer patients. It's obviously a very different population of patients, but they don't have a lot of resources readily available to them for counseling, coordination of care, and after a prostate cancer diagnosis, they rely heavily only on their urologist for figuring out what the steps are in subsequent workup and what they should do and helping with them, their decision making and their education. What patients can expect from a prostate cancer clinic after going through their prostate cancer diagnosis with me, spending about half an hour, 45 minutes, sometimes longer, talking about the specifics of their diagnosis and the overview of treatment options with an emphasis on explaining surgical details as that's what I'm able to provide patients generally uh, in curative prostate cancer treatment. I describe to them what they would expect to get from a multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary prostate cancer clinic. At that time, patients de dedicate about um, the majority of a morning coming to the cancer clinic here at Exeter Hospital and they're greeted by a patient navigator who they've already met when they receive their prostate cancer diagnosis in my office. That patient navigator is able to take them through the process of not only the prostate cancer clinic but everything from diagnosis to treatment and follow-up. That patient navigator essentially is their guide through what many patients perceive as to be the most difficult aspect of a cancer diagnosis. Where do I go? How do I get educated? What are the next steps? Who's, who's coordinating all this? It's hard to say who is coordinating all this in the absence of a navigator. And in that maze that we call current healthcare, a navigator really helps to crystallize for a patient exactly what it is that they need to do, where they need to be, and the details of patient care. After a patient meets with each of these individual providers in the multidisciplinary prostate cancer clinic, then a group meeting is held that I participate in, and we have representatives from pathology, oftentimes diagnostic imaging or radiologists, plus everybody that I just mentioned. We have a meeting and we discuss each patient individually with everybody representing what their encounter was like and what their thoughts are about the patient. We try and come up with a consensus about what we have to offer a patient from multiple different perspectives. So I think one of the benefits of having our multidisciplinary prostate cancer clinic here in Exeter is that patients can have some of the aspects of big city care, university care, right here in their home environment, right here in their own community. We have quality of care here that meets or exceeds the standard of care nationally, even internationally, and to have patients be able to stay here in their community is a real plus. Well, thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about this new program at Exeter Hospital and my participation in it. I'm very excited about it, and I hope it's been educational and informative. Obviously, if there are any questions that I haven't addressed or if there's something that I can talk to you about further, either individually or some representative from our multidisciplinary prostate cancer clinic, hope you don't hesitate to call.